Can you believe this? A man slid into a woman's DMs, and you would not believe what her response was. Let's talk about it. So I came across this uh, on the Daily Wrap-Up Crews community tab. They had shared it, uh, I believe, about a week ago. And I want to share it with you, and I want to hear your thoughts, because I didn't know that this was happening. But, hey, what do I know? Okay, let me make it bigger. So here is the correspondence between the man and the woman. So it starts off with, I think she he's saying nosy how. So I guess there was some kind of dialogue before this this um part of the conversation. He says, nosy how. I've been interested in you for a while now. I'm just getting available to reach out. Her response, how oh her sorry, how her response is, but you don't want to cash app? Question mark. He says, I was unaware that I had to pay to talk. I don't have any issues with assisting with anything I'm a part of. Her reply, you're aware now. His response, so I can't get to know you without prepaying? Her response, correct. I work and go to school and parent. No Know my energy and time is not just open. I guess you meant to say no. My energy and time is just not open. Correct. So his response was quite, quite, I was quite interesting. He says, how much to F, you can spell the word, sent then since we're skipping steps. So let me repeat that. His response was, how much to F blank blank, then since we're skipping steps. Wow. 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 This is so, so much wows on so many different levels because here he is. He must have seen her online, whether that's on Instagram or Facebook or wherever. And he is slid into her DMs and he's he wants to chat with her. And apparently she makes a statement about nosy. I guess he called him called him nosy. Maybe he made a comment about something she's posted. And he says, I've been interested in you for a while now. I'm just getting available to reach out. So he's interested. He's seen her, you know, he wants to connect with her. And she's like, but don't you want to cash app? Like, when did it start that in order for you to have a conversation with a woman, you have to pay? You have to send them some, unless you're three or four. But then again, how? what is the value that you're bringing to the table by just talking to this person, talking to the man? For him just to have a conversation with you, maybe get your number or or something, talk on the phone, this man has to pay. When did this started happening? Please enlighten me because maybe I'm behind the times in this modern world that we are living in. I didn't know that you had men had to pay to holler at you in your DMs or talk to you on the phone. I mean, most people don't really talk on the phone these days. They want to text, text back and forth, set up some kind of arrangement, go out on a date, coffee, whatever. Did you Have you heard of this before? Are you aware that this is, be, this is becoming a thing, apparently? Apparently, he didn't know. Him and I, we were both in the dark that in order to to talk, you need to fork some money out. 
Wow. This is news to me. And then she says, so now that you're aware, yeah, you need to prepay. So suppose he prepay and then he has a conversation with you um, and he doesn't want to go further. Then what? Because it sounds to me, she says, correct. I work. What kind of work do you do? I'm interested. I'm really curious to know what kind of work you do that you will be charging someone, a man that comes into your DMs to speak to you, to have a conversation with you. You don't even know if you're going to be interested in each other. So why have this paywall? Like if you're offering some kind of service, oh, then again, hey, it could be wrong. Maybe you're offering services, services of, you know, the, the kind. Maybe you are. I could be wrong. But still, usually those services are explained after you have that conversation and, you know, you tell them what you want, what are you going to do or what they want, I guess, what I've heard. I don't know for sure, but there is an exchange of services of value. So I don't understand. She says, correct. I go, I work and I go to school and I parent. So that means she's probably a single mother. She's a single mom. She's going to school, wonder what she's studying, and she works. So maybe she's in the escort business. But then again, uh, as far as I know, higher end escorts don't operate this way. And maybe she's a three or four. I don't know. But, you know, what, he's, what his comeback was was pretty witty, I think. Well, if he's skipping, like he said, how much to... F blank blank, then since we are skipping steps, because obviously she's skipping steps. She's like going straight to the heart of the matter um, for him to fork out some dollars to have a conversation with her. Is this, I, I don't even know. This is all very, very interesting and new to me. So let me know in the comments below, is this where this modern world is heading? Then in order to have a conversation with a man, he needs to pay. He, he needs to for, he needs to cash app you some dollars before he can have a conversation with you. Is that where we're heading now with a modern woman? Is that, is that what feminism is all about? Tell me, is this what we fought for, the right to do, to charge a man to just to have a conversation with you? I mean, in the consulting and coaching world that where I'm from and where I'm apart, you offer complimentary sessions in the beginning, right in the beginning, before you can, you determine if this person is a fit to work with, if they're, you know, they're actually right for you guys to work with or what you're offering is going to help them or are they committed or they're going to show up. Maybe sometimes is that they're not a fit. They're not the right client for you to work with or for me to work with. So you want to have a conversation in the beginning and that conversation is complimentary, whether that's 30 minutes or 45 minutes to an hour that's a complimentary conversation that you're having, right? Unless you are paying or unless you're charging uh, per hour and it's very clear that the person wants this specific uh, service. Like if you go on Fiverr and you look at options, say you want to get a video edited or you want some type of a task done that's going to help you move forward in whatever that is your business, so you know exactly what you want and you feel good about this individual because there are many people offering the same service. Uh, you feel good about this, this particular individual and what they're offering. Then you go ahead and you pay for that service, right? You know exactly what you're getting. That is a service that they're providing. So how does this translate to a man is interested to have a conversation with you and you want to charge him money 
just to have a conversation with you. He's interested. He's been interested for a while. And now he's getting the opportunity to reach out. And he said it in his own words. I didn't say it. But you want to catch up him without, for what? He doesn't even know he's going to like you after he's finished speaking with you. Why are you charging a man? This doesn't make any sense to me. To me, this sounds very three or four-ish. And it's just disgusting. This is where we're at now. This is what we fought for as, fe for, as in feminism. This modern feminism has gone to hell and back. And that's all I have to say about that. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think? Is this normal? Is this what women are doing? Modern women, not all women does this because I've never heard of it before. Is this what modern women are doing these days? Or is it only some modern women who are more in the three or four arena? Because you would have to be, in my opinion. Let me know your thoughts. I want to hear from you. I want to hear if you've heard this, heard about this before. Have you experienced it as a man? Have you reached out to a woman and she says, hey, you need to cash out me before we have a conversation? Let me know in the comments. Wherever you are, whether you're watching this on YouTube or listening to this on one of the pl podcast platforms, I want to hear from you. And until next time, remember, people don't have to love you. They don't even have to like you. But when you look in the mirror, you better love what you see. Take care and bye for now.